Ooh, Sniper Wolf's in the title today, guys. You know what that means, stealing her thumbnails. Hi again, guys, and welcome back to some shit you'd bought with the full intention of using that you just never have. It's no secret that I'm terrified of women, especially women who are better than me at things, aka pretty much all of them. And I can't think of a single woman, or anybody for that matter, better at my job than SS Sniper Wolf. Her thumbnails are legendary, her name strikes fear into reaction channels everywhere, she gets more views on a daily basis than there are people in Wisconsin. There really is nobody like the power house that is Leah. I forgot her last name. The thing that I do remember most about her, though, is some shit that most people don't know, and it's that she used to be a Call of Duty sniper. I remember when she was in Team Caliber and had like 2,000 subs. She's come so far. What the fuck happened? Not that it's a bad thing, it just feels like my life has not changed as much as I thought it would in the last seven years. I'm still talking about the same people. I have a buffet of content involving her that I want to look at. We're talking Darman videos, TikToks, and a few surprises that you'll have to stick around to find out about. But first, I gotta plug some shit. You guys know how it is. I would feel bad about doing it if it didn't feel so good to do. You know what else feels good? The sensation of this new shirt in its caressingly soft fabric available on maskedup.shop touching your skin. This is the bug tee. It's the only time I think I would willingly let someone put massive bugs on my chest because it looks so damn cool. I'm sure after seeing this design you're incredibly jealous that I have this really cool shirt and you don't, but don't be sad. This could be yours if you go to maskedup.shop and get it. It's only available for a limited time so you better hurry up and your life is also on a limited time. If you don't subscribe with notifications on. Let's start off easy. We've got like five months of TikToks to excavate through. That's the mine shaft I feel like is the least likely to cave in and crush my skull. The only thing I'm gonna let squeeze my head into a paste is another man's ass cheeks. <laughs> You know, one thing that hasn't changed about Sniper Wolf is her complete lack of timing. Not everybody can be as musically gifted as Bella Porch, but every time Leah needs to sync her motion to a song, she's always a half second behind it, like she's in a high speed chase with the beat. I'm in hot pursuit. Suspect is moving at 120 BPM and I'm going at 110, so I don't catch them on purpose. Uh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Wolf. I just don't believe you. If you were trying to get into every box, you failed miserably. But I don't think you were trying, because you literally Matrix dodged one of them. It whizzed over your head like a Nerf dart. You moved like Quicksilver did before he got shot to get out of the way of that one. So I know for a fact you could be fast enough to get to it, but you just didn't. It's okay to avoid them if you want. The great thing about TikTok trends is that they give you freedom for creative expression. And I've seen this trend done in both ways, where you're both trying to get in the box and avoid it. So if you want to dodge the camera like I do federal state and local taxes, then you're allowed to. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. This is an anime figure check. I want you to show your smallest figure, your biggest figure, your cutest figure, you know, that is a very expensive looking shelf. I'm sure there's like thousands of dollars worth of merch on it, but the only thing I care about on there is the shit Leah probably got for free. I couldn't help but notice that she has both the 100k plaque and the diamond play button up. It's certainly endearing that she didn't forget her humble YouTuber roots, her earliest achievements, but when you're as massive a creator as she is, I have to imagine the weight of 100,000 subscribers is just reduced when you turn over that many subs in a week. Hell, the diamond play button probably feels like a paperweight when you've reached it three times over. <laughs> This TikTok is funny and all. It's a meme that Sniper Wolf looks different in her videos than she does in real life because of Facetune or whatever. I don't really care. The part that concerns me is that with YouTubers as big and as rich as her, when you see them running around some big ass building by themselves, you have no way of telling if they're in a community college or their fucking house. You'd think that the exit signs and the labels for rooms make it pretty obviously a public place, but are you telling me that if you lived in a mansion as big as David Dobrik's that you'd remember how to get to all the rooms? No! You'd need those fucking signs just to find where you go to sleep. You probably just discover new rooms that the realtor forgot to mention to you every other week. She could be inside of Lifetime Fitness or in her basement. I would have no fucking clue because they cost the same amount to build. You are my little sussy baka. How many people do you think were edging when she started speaking and nutted instantly when she grabbed the Among Us doll? I'm sadly willing to bet it was a non-zero amount. No judgment here, I nut to weird things. 
pretty often. <laughs> There's more TikToks, but I'd really like to change the subject, and I think that's enough for now unless I really need the video to be longer. At this point, I feel like we move on to the Darman collab, a video titled School Janitor Shamed by Mean Girls. There's obviously a bunch of setup before we get to the part where Sniper Wolf is actually in the video, but you don't care about that shit, so I'll just spoil the beginning and we can jump to the parts with Leah in it. So there's this guy, Jordan, Jordan the janitor, who throws trash in a trash can to try and get it in like it's basketball. But he accidentally hits a girl with it, and she's all salty, and then calls him Jordan the janitor like it's the best insult in the world, and you know, not just his name and job title. Sounds kind of like a Sonic fan character now that I think about it, but apparently he got this job to help his mom with rent and is embarrassed because everybody making fun of him for it, until he runs into Sniper Wolf. Yo! I heard Sniper Wolf just got here. Let's go outside and look! That was a close one. Thanks again for doing this meet and greet. Sorry, I didn't think it'd get this crazy. Oh, it's totally fine. <laughs> Bruh, I love that subtitle. Just dustpan. Not even dustpan noises, just dustpan. It's like if you were watching a Saw movie and during one of the scenes where somebody was getting brutally mutilated, the subs didn't say screams of agony and gory bone crunching, it just said murder. As if a deaf person is just meant to infer the rest of those noises playing. I guess it would make sense if they could. Aside from that, what kind of setup is this? Most schools would not let a YouTuber within 500 feet of its walls, for good reason. This better be some incredibly successful fundraiser or it was not worth the risk. What are you doing just as a janitor? I picked up a job to help my mom with rent. I know, it's so embarrassing. No, it's not. It's actually really cool. Yeah, like I used to work at a store folding clothes. There's no shame in hard work. Ooh, this is my favorite part of any Darman video. There's like one line in the first few minutes of every Darman video that you know the rest of it is going to be dedicated to teaching, and that Darman is going to give a monologue on at around the six to eight minute mark, explaining how it all ties into each other. I feel like the sole purpose of having a YouTuber guest on these videos is so they can just say the line that the video is about. Nothing wrong with that. It's just every time you watch one of these, just keep an ear out for a sentence like that. It's a fun way of entertaining yourself. It's the motivational video version of Where's Waldo, where you guess what lesson is being fed to you via feeding tube. The goal is to find it before the colorless scoop that goes through the tube can reach your digestive system. Oh no, I think they're coming. This way before they see you. Thanks, Jordan. Hey, um, have you seen Sam or Snipe Wolf? No. I haven't. See, here's the part where Jordan should take a lesson from me, leeching off of someone else's fame. He doesn't owe Leah and that child YouTuber who is definitely too young to be at that school a damn thing. He should have ratted them out and taken some of their name recognition for himself. That would be a much more useful lesson for Darman to teach about reality. Treat your social life like it's a Call of Duty free-for-all lobby. Be cutthroat and never think about anybody but yourself. That's how I'm gonna raise my kids to act. Everybody's gonna love them for it, I'm sure. Mom, what are you doing here? I heard how you've been treating Jordan. How could you act like that? What heard from who? We snackable! Hey friends! Let's go outside so we can hang out. Come on. <laughs> Dude, that background looks like cardboard cutouts they'd use in a middle school theater production. It's still more than I could afford to do for a video, though. Also, Sniper Wolf called all those random high schoolers her friends, which just isn't true. She's actually encouraging the harmful parasocial relationship that often develops between creators and their viewers, and it's not okay. In this instance, that was a joke, but I am going to take this opportunity to say that your favorite creators aren't your friends and don't love you. Especially me. In fact, I actively hate my viewers because they don't give me enough money. But I will be your friend if you go to maskedup.shop and buy my new shirt. Anyways, that's like the last time Sniper Wolf appears in that video, so I think it's safe for me to pull out those surprises now. I didn't say you were gonna like the surprises, because for this one, we're going back to TikTok. Everybody's favorite drug. You know it's bad for you, but you can't stop goddamn using it. The reason I'm going back to it as a surprise is because instead of talking about Leah, I want to talk about her dog. I don't know what the fuck is going on with that little thing, but every time I see it, it's orange. I hate... Wait. I'm done hating. Today is love. I love today. That pooch is more tanned than my poo after finishing a bag of Cheetos. It's easy to write that off as just hair dye or some shit in its fur if this was a one-off thing, but I've never seen that dog be anything but that color palette. I really can't tell if they just make dogs in that colorway, like it's a rare shoe that resells for thousands of dollars, or if Sniper Wolf just likes keeping it with that look for fun. I, I, I couldn't tell you.
did she just really want a fox without having to deal with the mess that is having a pet fox? Because I understand, they look cute as shit, but they destroy everything you own. It's like she just takes a can of spray paint every morning to that dog's fur to get the look. I don't get it. Either way, it's a good excuse to beg for comments, so leave your theories in that comment section below. Anyways, that's enough Sniper Wolf for this video. Remember, that shirt is on maskedup.shop for a limited time, so cop it while you still can. Probably shouldn't have to mention this, but don't go after anyone I talked about in today's video. It's a good fun and it's a complete waste of your own time, you bozo. Drop a like and subscribe with notifications on if you enjoyed. You can follow me on twitch.tv slash quite, where I stream on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Subscribe to my second channel, quote, where I post stream highlights. Join my Discord server, discord.gg slash quite. You can follow me on Twitter at quite, and this has been quite, and buy the damn merch.